What's up guys? How is everybody out there doing tonight? I hope you all had a fantastic day today. It has been a while since I've done any type of collection update on this channel and I had this idea today, hey, look, I'm going to do a top 10 and then I started thinking about it. That's nearly impossible. Um, I, I don't know what cards would be in my top 10. I have my first, my my top couple, but that's really hard. Then I, then I figured ah, I'm going to do a top 25. And I quickly surpassed 25, and I got to 50, and I still hadn't put these cards in the background here in that 50, and I'm like, you know what, I'm going to stop at 50. <laughs> so uh, this video is going to be my top 50 cards in my football card collection. Now, most of them are Packers. Um, a lot of them are Jordies. Um, as some of you may know, that's my dude. But... Not all of them, so we're gonna we're gonna just we're just gonna get right into it. All right. So my top fifty. First one is this Jordy Exquisite RPA, out of one ninety nine. Piece of a letter patch on card autograph. This the Exquisite RPA, in my opinion, is one of Jordy's best rookie card or RPAs. Upper Deck Exquisite Collection is the business so next one and also up there on the list of desirable rookie patch autos is going to be the national treasures rpa out of 99 uh, on card autograph nice chunky patch on that it is a rookie and it is out of 99 so had to throw that one in there uh next one is going to be this jordy impeccable victory this is from impeccable and if you guys watch my channel and if you guys have, have watched any mail times or any other or other videos that i've mentioned this anything with jordy in his super bowl jersey is it's, it's special to me so this is an on-card autograph six out of ten and this is it's just amazing dude I believe my guy Steve hooked me up with this too. So, huge shout out to him. But yeah, it's just a beautiful card. So, next one in line is going to be this MVS Marquez Valdez Scantling Rookie Jumbo Material NFL Shield 1 of 1. Shields are just super cool. And MVS is my, my new PC dude. So, um, definitely one of my favorites. And you'll see as I go along in this list how it, it would have been very, very difficult to just pick 10 or 25. I had to go with 50. Next one is this MVS NFL Players Tag 1 of 1 uh, Rookie Patch Auto. And this one is special to me uh, because Gary B sent this one my way as a rack. Random act of kindness through through my guys over at Buck City Breaks, and I almost lost it when I opened it. Um, so this one's special too. That had to make the list. Had to have made the list. Uh, next one is this one. It, it's the same card from XR, except with the new era uh, patch on it. And I picked this up last year. Uh, obviously, last year was uh, MVS's rookie year. And I just thought the patch was just... I like it. it it's something unique. It's its different. So, obviously, it's off a hat. But I don't even care. I, I think it's cool. I think it's unique. Uh, next one is going to be my... This is one of my top five cards, for sure. Uh... NT, it's the Metal Shield, Jordy, one of one. And this may have made it to my last my last uh, favorites video. That was over two years ago, I think, that I did that. It was a while ago. But this is a centerpiece. This is a staple in my collection. It has been for a long time. This, this card is very special to me. So uh, next one, I actually picked this one up recently, but man... Black Finite, Jordy, this is the Apex insert, one of one, Super Bowl jersey. 
So sick, man. Black Finites are awesome. Hopefully, each one of you can eventually have one in your collection at least. Doesn't really matter who the player is, I suppose, but they just, they pop. They pop. That one has Jordy in the Super Bowl jersey. I'm all about it. So, next one is going to be uh, this exquisite RPA, well, rookie jersey auto. And anytime, you know, rookie on card auto from exquisite, that's out of 25 as well. That's just, it's just so nice. And that's my dude. My dude. All right. Next up. Rated rookie. Oh, gold vinyl super fractor. Gold vinyl super fractor MVS. I mean, this is a this is a staple of my MVS collection, not of my whole collection, but um this is definitely the nicest Valdez Scantling card I own. And I mean, <laughs> I'm super happy to have it. I do have this entire rainbow. Um but I think this card, minus, you know, Flawless Shield Auto, National Treasure Shield Auto, those are probably, those are going to be worth more money. But for eye appeal to me, in my opinion, this is the card to have if you're looking for a rookie auto. It's going to be the gold vinyl rated rookie auto. So, all right, next up is a trio because I can't pick. I mean, obviously the one of one is sweet, but these championship ink from Vertex has Jordy in the Super Bowl jersey, of course. Uh, this one's out of ten. This one's out of five, and this is the one of one. Now, interestingly enough, the one of one and the five have blue ink, and for some reason, the nine of ten has black ink. Not a hundred percent sure about that, but. These three are definitely awesome, and I had to add them to this top 50. You know, they, these cards may not be, they're not necessarily my top 50 most expensive cards. Obviously, that's not, I don't necessarily collect cards because of the value. I collect them because I like to collect them. And I collect what I like. Here's another Jordy. This is one of my favorites as well. Certified Champions 1 of 1. The Mirror Black. It's so good, man. Mirror Black is so good. You can barely tell on video, but you can you can start to see the the shine that these cards hold. And they all they change color. It looks green on the top, blue. It's really yeah, man, it's, it's a really cool one. Uh, but one of one Super Bowl jersey. It's so good. All right. Next one is a Donald Driver National Treasures NFL Shield Auto. Yes, Double D is notorious for going off the sticker on the autograph, so that's not that big of a deal. A lot of his sticker autos are that where he swipes right here, it goes off the sticker. So not that big of a deal, to me at least. I mean, maybe to somebody else, but uh, NT... Game worn. Game worn shield, man. It's so cool. So that's a beautiful card. Uh, next one is another Donald Driver NT. This time he didn't go off the sticker, but this is the upside down Reebok logo. It is a game worn uh, jersey brand logo. So that is the Reebok logo flipped upside down for some odd reason. I'm not really sure why. But that bad boy is also a one of one. I picked th both of those up at the national convention this past year. So uh, I had to add this one. This is a dual autograph, Brett Favre, Donald Driver. Um, Donald did go off the sticker on that one. It, it was on the the bottom right here where he ended his signature. Uh, or maybe. Uh, maybe that's where he ended the first part of it. I'm not really sure how he signs, but... And the Brett's looking a little suspicious, but hey. 5 of 10, dual autograph. 
loved watching these two play. So definitely in there. Uh, next up is the uh, Panini Super Bowl. Uh, these are short printed. I'm not sure exactly how many, but I love this card. I've, I've had it for a long time. Um, when they first came out, they were going for for a lot of money. I, I think these card these cards were going for over a hundred bucks when they first came out. I don't think they're going for quite that much at the moment, but um, obviously, once again, Super Bowl jersey. It's got the it's got everything that I like on it, so it's perfect. Uh, this next one is from my guy Jonathan Coker. Two years ago at the National, he he comes up in the hotel room. Uh, Buck City Chris, Buck City Adam, uh, Mikey B, a couple other guys. Cheddar Bob was in there. Um, we were all just hanging out. He comes in, hands me this card. It was nuts. I was so this this card is special to me. Um, hopefully uh, Jamal can make a, a full recovery from that hit the other day. But uh, the card is special to me, and it's in my top fifty because you know. John came in and just gave it to me. And that, that's very special, man. So I have another one of this that's that didn't make the cut of the top 50, but it is a, a Nike swoosh and some other laundry tags. But uh, this one had to make the cut because of where it came from. So uh, next up is this Jair Alexander Green Pulsar. And this may seem like a, how the heck did that make your top 50? But, you know what? This this is from retail. Jair has been balling out. I love the green Pulsar because it reminds me of Topps Chrome. And I just, at this moment in time, I just really like the card. So that's why it's in the top 50. Uh, next up is this MVS that I got from my guy Mikey B. Nike Swoosh Monumental. Gold Vinyl. I like it. It's a one of one. And I I do this for a lot of cards so they don't rattle around. I'll just fold a sleeve and put it on the back side of it. And then uh, click the magnetic shut. and uh, Or click the one touch shut. And that way cards my cards don't rattle around. Just in case you were wondering. Alright, next one. I pulled this myself, which is why it's on this list. Um, Melvin Gordon, and I, I think I actually called, kind of called my shot. This was in a random hobby pack opening where I'm like, it's opening up a pack of 2015 Prism. And it was one of those things where it's like, man, I would love to pull a Melvin Gordon rookie auto. And then like <laughs> that pack or the next pack, I don't remember exactly, but boom, Melvin Gordon rookie auto. And yeah, that's... That's why it made it to the list. It, it is out of 100, so nothing crazy, but that definitely had to make the list. Uh, next up is this Colossal uh, NT Collegiate RPA of Melvin Gordon. On-card autograph, nice two-color jersey patch. Just had it. This one had to make the list as well. Oh, it's from uh, National Treasures Multisport, actually, but... Um, Same thing, pretty much. All right, next up is this Aaron Rodgers from Obsidian. This is the White Finite. And I just have to commend, I got to commend Panini on the White Finites out of Obsidian from last year. It's just, it's so good. This is a one of one. Um, but the cards just pop and sparkle and shine, kind of like the Black Finite, Black Finite from Prism. But they just seem to pop a little bit more. I don't know. I really like it. So that's on the list. Uh, next up is this pair of Vince Lombardi. This is from the Leaf Lombardi Legacy set. They're both out of 10. And these are personally worn jacket, jacket relics from the man himself. The man who 
the Super Bowl trophy is named after. So, really cool. I like both of these. Had to add them to the, in this video. All right. Next up, my guy, Foom. This is from my dude, Steve. Uh, let's see, how many nationals was that ago? Two in Cleveland. Steve hooked and hooked me and my brother Cheddar Bob up with some cards, and dude, he got this for me. And cracked ice college ticket, Wisconsin Badgers Uni. I'm all over it, man. Out of 23, it's perfect. I love this card. Not just because of what it is, but where it came from as well. Um, obviously, I can't add every single card that was given to me to this video. But that one's special. So next up is this Russell Wilson RPA from SP Authentic. It's out of 885. And just imagine that he signed 885 of these. That's pretty crazy to think about. But on card auto, two color patch, Wisconsin Badgers Uni. It's perfect to me, at least. Obviously, I'm a Badgers fan and. It's just cool. All right. Next up, my one and only J.J. Watt auto. Four of ten. This, this one, uh, I made a deal with my guy Mikey B over. So, um, I don't know. I think the card kind of speaks for itself. Four of ten. Only J.J. So, that, that had to make the list. Next one is Jerry... Black gold, sizable signatures. That is out of 15. This one comes via my brother. Don't remember. I, I think I, I traded him some stuff for it or he gave it to me. I don't know. We give each other cards all the time. So I don't 100% remember. But Jersey Auto, Jerry Rice, Game Worn Material. Super cool. Looks like I need a new mag for it because it's all scratched up. But... um. I took all of these out of the the mag, the one touch sleeves for this video, so those will go back in shortly after this. Uh, next up is this one of one flawless Nike swoosh, Jordy. It is player worn, but you know what? I don't I don't really care. I. People put up a big stink about player worn versus game used. I mean, player worn, it's still a really sick card. I mean, game used obviously is preferred, but it just makes me appreciate the game used all that much more when, uh, when I get one. Uh, this next one is the center of the ribbon from the Pro Bowl jersey, seven of seven. Almost have this entire set, but just one card short so still waiting for that to pop up someday um 2015 national treasure it's just a nasty patch dude so good so good uh next up touchdown or ring bears rogers and jordy dual auto 205 i got this at the national a couple years ago so this was my first dual autograph of these two guys. So that definitely had to make the list. Uh, next up is one other one of those. Rogers Jordy Duel. This is from Playoff, which is a, a lower end product, but hey, it's out of 10. Touchdown tandems. A little bit of shine to it, but... Those two dudes on a card with ink is always good in my book. So, uh, let's see. I got a bunch of Jordies left here, don't I? Well, not all Jordies. Uh, next up is Colossal NFL Shield. One of one from NT. What is it, 17? Uh, oh, it says it right there, 2018. All right. 
kind of speaks for itself, I suppose. Uh, this is another one from 2015 Nike Swoosh, Pro Bowl Materials. Got this in a break. And I didn't watch the entire break, so I, I didn't see this card get pulled. And I got surprised with it on mail time. I was ecstatic, to say the least. Uh, this next one is a flawless Jordy 1 of 1 auto. And I suppose just because of the simple fact that it's flawless and it's an on-card auto, I had to add it to the list. Nice shine. I mean, not all of my 1 of 1s made it to the list. I mean, there's a bunch of them in the background. And I had to, I had to stop at 50 because I could, probably could have got to 100 and then it would have been an hour-long video. Uh, next one up is a Rogers patch auto out of 10 from Panini 1 on card autograph three color patch that's about as good as it gets minus a laundry tag Nike swoosh NFL shield for the Green Bay Packers three colors is about the best you're going to get so I like it uh, next up and actually there's a couple a couple versions of this but this card is one of the more unique cards that, that is in my collection. This is from Leaf Certified Materials 2008. And it's a four cent stamp. Now, Jordy signed it. It's a little, the stamp went over his signature a little bit, which, eh, not that big of a deal. Souvenir stamps, three of five. Super cool. And the next one is a Jersey autograph Packers stamp. Back at that time, stamps were 41 cents. Souvenir stamps. And this one is numbered three of five. So two three of fives. One is a patch auto, well, jersey auto. And one of them is just a regular auto with the American flag. Long may it wave. I love it. All right, next up is this Jordy. Super Bowl signature series. Jordy in his Super Bowl jersey, you already know what the deal is with that. Two of ten. I wanted this card for a long time and finally was able to pick one up. Not too long ago. Six months ago, maybe? Five, six months ago. Through my guy Josh. All right. Next two. I don't want to take them out of here, but I pulled these myself, which... Is that's why they made it onto the list. So this is a I pulled this from contenders last year, um, and that was awesome. Graded it, and it's a gem at nine five ten. Surface got a nine. Everything else is a nine five. Um, but yeah, I'm kind of holding these. See what happens with him. He hasn't been playing that great so far this year, but we'll see what happens later on in the year. Who knows? And then also this one. Graded in 9510. Optic rookie patch auto that I pulled from Optic last year. So uh, these these two are not going to be in my collection forever. I do plan on selling them eventually, but not right now. So uh next one is a flawless NFL shield with some some threads poking out there. One of one. I like this card because yeah, I was kind of on the fence about it. Other shields are just like, bam, there's a shield. And this one kind of has the the card is cut to the shield, which is really cool. So I thought it was kind of unique, and it's a shield. Uh, next one is this Nike Swoosh Auto from 2014 National Treasures. It is a sticker auto, but what are you going to do? And it, But it is a game-worn Game worn jersey. So sick. All right, we have a uh, laundry tag from 15 NT Pro Bowl materials. It's got the green on it. We're almost at the end. We got four cards left. Four cards left. That's it. Uh, next one is this colossal laundry tag auto one of one. Jordy. And then the one of two colossal Nike swoosh 
auto. What is this again? 17 National Treasures. All right. Uh, the next card is on this list because I got this out of a break. This was one of my first big time cards that I've ever gotten. And it came from a break. I won it in the random because I think I, I think it was a player break. And I had Jordy. And I actually did pretty well in the break. I think I got another printing plate and some other another card as well, or a couple other cards as well. And then this came out, and then I won it in the randomizer, which was nuts. I was I'm sure the dude who had who had Clay Matthews was super bummed and beside himself and very upset, but I still have this card. This is from 20... Is this 2015? Yeah, this is 2015 Top Supreme. So now, obviously, Jordy's retired. Clay is on the Rams right now, but all time, that's our all-time sack leader. And Jordy will be in the Packer Hall of Fame soon. All right, it's time for the last card. My last card here is my favorite at the moment. This was sent to me by my guys over at Buck City Breaks, Chris and Adam. Sent this dual autograph, Aaron Rodgers, Jordy Nelson, one of one dual auto from Limited. It's crazy. So this one is very special to me. This will never leave my collection. So there you have it. That was my top 50, guys. Hopefully uh, the 26 minute their 27 minute long video wasn't too boring for you. I appreciate you hanging out. Hopefully you enjoyed it. Thank you all for watching and I'll be back with another video soon.